What's happening, Wargamers? Welcome to the After Action Report. And uh, as I confided with Troop on this one, I honestly do not know where to begin with this game. Um, MVP tonight is definitely Dice. They yes. uh, they may have won that game significantly. I think the Dice were juicing. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I definitely think they, they took something uh, performance-enhancing, uh, at least the attack Dice. I don't know about the defense Dice. Neither of our defense Dice were showing up tonight, not were they? Not at all, yeah. Like, just every time we were rolling defense, it was just, no. Nah. Oh, I only just, need to make three of these? That's zero. That's pronounced yeah, zero. Exactly, exactly. Like, I, I don't think I've seen as like such cold defense Dice in any of our games. Okay, so I want to talk about... The first thing is, how good is Gambit's new card? <laughs> Gambit showed up today, man. Like, So let's be very clear. Gambit has no new changes. He is just the same Cretan he was before. But now he gets power. <laughs> and now Cyclops is like, hey, do something. <laughs> yeah. And he does something. Like, what are we paying you for, man? <laughs> Come on. Wait, like... you guys are getting paid? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Gambit. Gambit was the surprise MVP of this game. Like no question about it. He he showed up. He like not only did he just run over and make the smart decision and score two points, but like giving the opportunity to fifty two card pickup, pick up both Scarlet Witch and Magneto. Yep. Yep. Right? Like that was like I, I was expecting to do some damage. I was I was hoping I could take Scarlet Witch. I was not expecting to do it that thoroughly though yeah yeah i i was planning on doing a no more mutants on your second attack making sure you didn't get any fancy fancy things and it was already too late yeah i was like uh yeah that doesn't matter like okay, between great. the re-rolls and like i don't like yeah yeah like if you'd stopped a little something extra in the first one yeah it would have actually kept me from being able to get the re-rolls not that the re-rolls mattered i guess yeah that's true right? that's true like it's it, it's kind of crazy how that one actually shook out. Like Scarlet Witch should not have gone down that easily. No. Like it, it should have been a much tougher thing, and that was highly antis uh, unanticipated. Yeah. So yeah, Gambit surprise MVP for the for the X Men. Yeah. Delicious power, very good for him as it turns out. Yeah. Uh, I want to give special props to Cyclops. Yeah. I used Field Leader for the first time ever. What uh, is is Cyclops some sort of leader? Does he do something like that? Apparently, I I think Xavier showed up and told him he was taking away his parking spot unless he actually did his job or something and. You know, he, he actually showed up and did something. Uh, of course, he also got to boss Logan around in this particular match with a field leader. And Which is his favorite thing to do. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, like I, his new leadership makes him very viable. I, yes. And the, the exciting thing for me is, like with Gambit, I think he makes a lot of other characters in the X-Men a lot more viable. And he may make a lot more characters outside of the X-Men also much more viable. So Yeah, no, it's it's really good. Like his attacks didn't show up or do anything. Yeah. But I mean he feel that he had power to use his kit. Yes. Right? And yeah. I feel like in previous games he's never really had that option until he's just been punched a whole bunch of times. Yeah, it's either you choose an optic death of the station or you choose a hit and run and then you're done. That's that's all you're gonna get yeah. to do this game. But I mean I field leadered, I did a quick draw, I, I did an I did a, a bunch of optic blasts and yeah. like I actually have four power. Like if, if Magneto hadn't taken him out of this round, he would have been able to do stuff. Yep. Yep. So I'm very impressed with Cyclops. It's it's a very subtle change, but it actually feels really, really solid. I agree. And honestly, if those if those optic blasts had actually done a little bit of damage and he gained a little bit more power, we probably would have seen an optic devastation or two. Yep. Right? Yep. Uh, we, unfortunately, you were dropping characters a little too fast to really get a lot of a lot of play out of that. I mean, you were dropping characters really fast too. I mean, let's let's talk uh, Colossus for a moment here and. You know, what, what, what was it? One attack into him and uh, seven uh, damage to... Yeah, yeah. Magneto decided... Uh, is that, one is that shot him? little metal body of yours uh, entirely made of metal? I mean, it's very thematic. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's like, no, you don't send the metal man to deal with Magneto. Yeah. Are you stupid? Are you new here? Like... It, 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 it was a really weird feeling because I definitely rolled six dice with Magneto and been like, ah, shoot, I don't have the rerolls. I'm just out. Oh, I, I hit you for two. So, okay, so for a mo quick moment here. Yes. Magneto had three activations, correct? Yes. And in three activations, he dazed four characters. Yep. And he almost got Psylocke. Yes. So he, Magneto had a game today. He did, he did. And he, like, I actually can't say that I, I was very disappointed in any of my characters. Uh, I think Blob was the only one who didn't show up, but I didn't give him a chance to. Yes, and, and actually even when he didn't show up, he definitely hopped over and did a pile of damage to... Uh, to Cyclops. Cyclops, and then pushed him around. That was the other thing. You controlled you controlled him quite well, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that was the interesting thing. Like, Blob was... I was concerned about Blob because he does have some really annoying board control. Yep. And I didn't want to deal with that. I, 
I, I had to make a choice between him and Pyro. Yes. And I yeah. chose I chose Blob early on because you put me in a position where like okay Blob can thunder a splash and you know really do a lot of damage to both Colossus and uh, and Cyclops. And yeah. I, I loved the idea of him jumping over that bodega into you Cyclops. Mean stumbling over the bodega. <laughs> Belly flopping over the <laughs> tripping over it. Yeah, really? yeah. You ever see a panda? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, yeah, no. Blob was. I think Blob was a target priority for me, and I think I think I gambled and it paid off. To be honest, well, I I was trying to convince you to use Cyclops to blast him with energy because that's his weakness, and you're like, actually, I think I need to use Colossus here because I want to get him now. And yeah, it Colossus worked. did it. Now, having said that, I was not expecting Colossus to take out Blob. Yep. I was just hoping for a stagger. Yeah, like that was the big thing. I wanted to control how many attacks Colossus got, uh, but as you mentioned earlier, like our defense dice weren't showing up today. Not at all. And because your haha that tickles wasn't pushing uh, Colossus away. Yeah. Which I mean, small change but huge. Yeah, that would that like that entirely uh, justifies this change for me. Yeah, and it just it it's like I got lucky and managed to get that six damage into Blob, and it's like okay, cool, like. He showed up. He, he did some stuff, and because I thought Colossus was going to be down and out after what you did to him in round one. Yep. I was super worried about that. Uh, even Wolverine, to an extent, I thought Pyro was going to be able to pick him up, and I mean, yeah, yeah. Although if you look over at at, at Wolverine, he is definitely uh, exceeding his amount of damage if he uh, hadn't healed, right? Yeah, I think he healed up two damage every almost every round. Yeah. So uh, except for the first. Except for the first. Yeah. yeah. So he's, he's hanging he, out on a bus at the bus stop. So. Yeah, so he's ended up healing six damage. Yeah. So actually, yeah, if he didn't have healing factor, he would have actually been been down at this point. So. Or exceptional healing. Yes. Oh, right. you, well, you did exceptional healing. I did. Yeah, I did so, exceptional healing yeah. because Pyro got that really good attack into him, and yeah. I, I had to do that or I'd lose Wolverine. And yep. I couldn't afford to lose one of my biggest hitters. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. And that's the other thing. Wolverine also got work done. Yeah. Right? I, yeah. I've been playing a lot of Wolverine since the new card. Yep. I absolutely love Wolverine now. The, so the simple change of two power charge with Berserker Barrage being an eligible target for it or an eligible attack for it, it's yep. just, it feels so good. Yeah, it definitely feels like he can bring a little bit of offense while at the same time being slightly more resilient. So. Yeah, and it just I I absolutely adore it. Like he, all of the the changed cards just feel really good. Uh, the leadership turns things on. Like Psylocke had a whole bunch of extra power to do things. Gambit had power to do things. Everyone can do things. Uh, yeah, and it's funny because before we started this game, you looked at the board and you're like, uh, do you, do you want to take some terrain away? Yeah, like I, I'm a little worried about you, dude. And uh, I I was. I said no because you know I, we build terrains to make we build tables to make them interesting. Yep. And yep. I mean, look at all the terrain. Like, what did you get? You got uh, I see a bodega, I see a dumpster, the mystery machine, two, uh, bus, two stations. bus stations, the taco truck, two constructs, a mailbox, a uh, street pole, some barrel. Like, you destroyed a lot of terrain. Yeah, yeah. Like, I I think uh, we've learned a valuable lesson that Magneto should be called in whenever we need to clear a space. We can get that done. So. Yeah. Yeah, because that board was dense yeah. before we started. Yeah, it sure was. It uh, sure was. So, and it just, it's another testament to the the story of the dice in this game. Yes. Like, the dice just showed up, did some really wild things. Uh, like, even even uh, Scarlet Witch, when she started doing stuff, like, she did get some work done. Yep. Right? Like, yeah, everyone yeah. but Blob really had their opportunity. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even even Toad. Especially Toad is not supposed to, but Toad definitely got his moment, too. Toad so. got some work, and he pushed Cyclops away. He, yep. he licked... Uh, he licked uh, Wolverine, uh, and, Wolverine and, <laughs> and also pushed him away because that's gross. Uh, no, you can't. Push oh right, he that's right, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he burned Wolverine. That's he burned he Wolverine. Yeah, you, you licked Colossus and yeah. tasted like nickel. Yeah, so. yeah. But uh, yeah, no, it was it was a wild game, and like I like our attack dice did not disappoint. Well, and we used almost all of our uh, tactics cards. We like, did use all the, of them. the whole game was. Uh, was pretty pretty yeah, nuts. So. Like you you even reused magnetic refraction. Yeah yeah I so. used that like three turns. So so but yeah, yeah definitely fun and exciting. I hope everyone who watched it had a fun and exciting time with it as well because I think that was a really exciting game and I'm actually kind of happy for it to be the hundredth uh, battle report. That's awesome. So yeah that that's gonna be going up here. So yeah uh, leave your comments below get involved in the discussion and uh, we will see you next time guys. Happy wargaming.